Welcome back to Home Improvement Woodworking. Today I'm going to give you a product review of this Wolverine grinding jig by One Way Manufacturing. This is something that I purchased in my workshop so I can reproduce a table leg here out of this mahogany blank. Having sharp tools is really important for turning. So I'm going to unbox this, put it on my grinder, and give you my thoughts of how it works. Our videos show you how to add value and character to your home. This is the centerpiece of the room, so it really needs to visually work. Learn how to get quality results that you'll be proud of. Welcome to Home Improvement Woodworking. I'm really excited to have this Wolverine grinding jig in my shop. I've got a project ahead of me where I have to reproduce this mahogany leg as part of my fixing furniture channel. And I also have a CBN grinding wheel that I purchased. I've got a separate video on that, as well as a separate video on the AirShield Pro. So this product I purchased at Lee Valley Tools because I had used it in a workshop where I learned how to sharpen my turning tools. I was so impressed with it, I ended up leaving that course <laughs> buying the product. So I'm gonna unbox this, put it on my grinder, show you how that works, and uh, show you why I decided to invest in this tool in my workshop. This is not a sponsored video. This is me spending my money and giving you the unburnished truth about what I think about this product. Okay, let's see what's inside. Okay, instructions. Oh, there's a DVD. Now this part here, I recognize. This is for the chisel to be held in the back here. Um, so these must be the mounting plates here. And I'll get out the instructions and we'll take a look at what we've got. Well, the first thing I notice is there's lots of diagrams and visuals, and that works for me. I'm a visual person. This gives you an idea here of what this is going to look like. So the grinder is positioned here. Um, there's a tool rest on one side. You can decide what side it's on. And then here you can see this arm coming out. This is the grinding jig. So you put your chisel in the bottom here. When you've got a gouge, it's just a matter of rotating that, and you get it sharp in seconds. So we'll see how that works once I get it all set. The first thing to do is I have to mount these bases on a piece of plywood for my grinder. So I'll get the grinder out and we'll start there. So here's my grinder. If you missed the previous video, I put a CBN grinding wheel on here. And this is the base I have right now. It's got a cleat in it. And I use this cleat to put it in my vise, my workbench. That way I can clamp it down and have it nice and secure. I normally keep this stored away. The base here is supposed to slide underneath and I don't have enough room so I'm gonna have to take the grinder off this board and lift it up. So this gets lined up the top of this diamond shape here, gets lined up with the center of the wheel and then from alignment perspective the front of this needs to align with the front of the grinder. So the grinder needs to come up, needs to come forward and then I can mount this on this side and there's another one for this side and I bought this for working with my lathe tools but this is going to help me on this side as well. This is a piece of windowsill scrap. Uh, you see this is option B on my profile design. Um, if you haven't seen my windowsill video. I'll leave a link in the video description. Um, this one's actually one of our top videos. And this is the tool rest that's going to replace it. So I'm really looking forward to having a nice wide base here. Um, the standard base that came with this grinder was really tiny, so that's why I needed a longer edge. So I'll put the base on both sides here, lift up the grinder, and uh, we should be ready for the next step. So with the grinder now attached, the base goes on this side, and what I need to do is line this up with the center here. So the instructions say, put this inside here, and use that to line it up, which works quite well. So now I've got a really good reference. Let me just lock that in. A really good reference to how straight that is. So we just need to mark this with a pencil and then screw it down. 
Now the nice thing about this base is it's uh, set up for using wood screws. There's three crown or sunk holes, um, so any woodworker can use that. Just a matter of pulling out inch and a quarter screws on a three quarter inch base and you're good to go. I slide the tool rest in here, lock it in, and you can see dead center. Perfect. I go through the same process on this side, put the tool base down flush with the front, get the tool rest in that slot, lock it in place, and then just line it up right in the middle. I'm going to put the platform on this side, so I'll just pull this back a little bit. Here's the platform. I'll just put a washer on. platform and then the handle threads on. Now, similar to other lathe tools, this adjusts to get out of the way. And then I can move this in here, back it off just a bit. Oh wow, that's rock solid. I like that. Okay, nice big base to work on. So the platforms here on this side, this is where I'm going to be sharpening the lathe tools with the CBN wheel. I've got the V arm that slides in here. And if I take my roughing gouge as an example, I just need to line it up so I'm getting the right angle, lock it in. And now I've got repeatable results by putting the handle in the base and then being able to rotate this on the wheel. So I'll test that in a minute, but there's one more thing I need to attach and that's for safety. So there is this part here. I've got an open wheel here and you could get a finger caught in here. That would be nasty. So there's just a piece I need to add on. So you don't have access to that open area there. I've set this up here so I've got the right angle on my roughing gouge. And what I'm going to do is use a sharpie and just color that whole tip so I know exactly what metal I'm taking off and what I'm leaving just to make sure I've got it set up right. The last chisel I'm going to try and sharpen here is my skew. Now I got this used and the bevel on it is, I measure it here, it's a 30. And that's okay for softwoods, but for hardwoods, 40 to 45 is better. So I'm going to regrind it to a 40. So this will be a good test for this jig. Now I've got the offset base for skew, so it'll make it a little bit easier. But I'm going to start by using a sharpie on the blade so I can see exactly what's going on as I sharpen this. So instead of putting the handle in the center here, the skew grinding jig attachment has a spot here and over here. So this allows you to grind on an angle. So to start with, I'm setting the skew right up at the top here and I'll just turn that wheel and see, yeah, right at the tip is where it's grinding off the surface. So I'm gonna give that a go. I'll grind it on both sides and then see what the angle looks like.
The bevel's not at 40 degrees yet, so I need to extend the arm to sharpen the angle. It looks like it might be 40 degrees now. degrees and a beautiful bevel. For my bowl and spindle gouge I bought the bear grind attachment. This is something that's going to take some setup and do some practicing on so I'm going to do a separate video on this. What are my overall thoughts of this Wolverine grinding jig? Well I really like it. I had used it before so I knew what it performed like but I was really impressed with this platform. Uh, the size of it and how sturdy it is. It's just rock solid. The one thing I was disappointed in though is this safety guard here. It's very flimsy and almost seems like an afterthought. It's not like the material in the rest of this. Now the instructions were good from a visual perspective. That really spoke to me. But the one thing that was missing was step-by-step -step instructions. And this safety piece was almost buried at the end. So those instructions could be improved as well. My next project on my Fixing Furniture YouTube channel is to take this mahogany table leg and reproduce it here. Now you can tell by the material I need to remove, I'm going to be doing a lot of work with the lathe. And this tool, the CBN wheel, um, is really going to help me in terms of my productivity as I work through that project. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can click over here and click on the bell icon and you'll get notified every time we publish a video. Until next time, enjoy your time in the workshop. <laughs>